tournament. Like, this could be some really crazy stuff. Fast forward to where we are now to household name Pocket has created for themselves here, and it has been an absolute joy to watch. Wrath definitely has a full plate here to take on this one. That's right. They don't get much bigger than this, I believe, at this event. I mean, I mean, we know what the running narrative is. We know what, you know, the crowd, the chat has been saying. So let's see if you can try to put a stop to it. I thought he got faked out by a hand right there, too. Wrath is just down to take this. We are going to mine all of these resources up. We have diamond online, and we have another diamond in the back pocket. We have damn near half a bar of iron, and we are ready to go here. 47% just off a few hits we have found thus far. Nothing for Wrath. That's right. Lock in, friends. We're going to be here a while. There's the back air. Now he's going to go high there that time. That's that third-party privilege that Sonic was originally blessed with before all the other <laughs> third-party characters got here. I thought Sonic. I was supposed to have this. Come on, guys. That's right. Nice air dodge up. Give himself that extra little boost up and above the ledge. Now, Sonic, of course, with some good springs, too. Able to jump around. Uh -uh, get that card out of here, bro. I'm the fastest character on foot. Curious to see how the gameplay is going to unfold off stage too. Sonic, of course, with that forward air. Uh, you know, we've seen Sonics. We've seen Kells. We've seen all the strong Sonics in the world do this. First hit on that being frame five is so hard to work around. If you don't have a moving disadvantage that can bust you out of that, you're going to be in some trouble. But all that to say, pocket, of course, untouched. Yeah, absolutely chilling. Really interesting, op like, you know, option select here for Wrath. Just want to let this one kind of play out. You know, you let this one go to timer potentially, but this is not the strongest start to be doing so. Zero to death. I mean, it took us, you know, over a full minute to get to that point, but nevertheless, pocket's still sitting strong. Yep. This is uh, this is not going to be good right here. Yeah, this is a tough start, I got to say. Got to yeah. change up your game plan going into the second stock already. It's going to be a cold one, 100%, man. This is tough. I mean, Sonic blessed with the movement options to get around some of these options, but, you know, once you get in, what do you do now? Because now you... You've allowed, you know, Pocket to, you know, they got gold online. I'd imagine Diamond is somewhere in the pipeline, too, coming soon. Now you got to slug it out, and I don't know if I like Sonic slugging it out against a very, you know, well-crafted Steve. I'll put it that way. Or right. Enderman. Yeah, fully suited up here. Wall up again. Again, half a bar full of iron. Diamond in the pocket does not matter. If we even break these tools, we can get stuff going again immediately. And again, we're not even at a percent where we want to even think about saving this for next stock either. No, no absolutely not. If I'm keeping it real, and I know people ain't going to want to hear this, if I'm wrapped, I'm camping, bro. Hey, run it you, out. You got to camp in this matchup. I feel like, you know, you get your hits, and then you you get out. You know, Sonic again, you know, just the nature of the, the matchup versus Sonic in any regard, once you get that lead, force your opponent to come to you. You got to start doing it. Wall here, too. Opting to break crafting table a whole lot here. Dash tech not going to connect off the wall, though. Just getting bounced up and down. Just straight ones and two hits. Not seeing any too much off of, you know, spin dash or, you know, homing, hit, homing shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, just bursting in dash attack. You've allowed him to get his toolkit set up. Nothing off the car, but we should see a four. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to actually see up throw there that time, but he likes to go for four throw. Probably smart to not start sharking from up underneath with their up air and air strings. Yeah. There's always a looming threat of down air on Pocket's behalf on the way down. Dash tech through, though. Finally getting rid of that wall. Oh, minecart stopping, even though it was stationary, too. Stops the, you know, spin in. Okay, car online bursting in with homing attack. Oh, my God. This is anything but good right now for Wrath filling the Wrath here. Yeah, slowly being bled out of this game. Pocket not really taking any risks either. I mean, you don't really have to at this point. Any risk you take, not really a risk when you have this much of a lead. That's true. I mean, obviously, you could kill with damn near any stray hit you have in the kit. But again, just staying content. Yeah, you got to. It's such a tough thing to do, man, because even if you want to go for your hit and run play style, you got to at least get up through and around these walls to do that. Uh oh, I don't like the way that sounds. Pocket looking very well equipped right now. Comes through with the car. No down air. But still able to find something right there with the car. Bye. Oh, I'm yeah, out of here. Setting up the house right here. That's right. Real estate ain't cheap. That's right. So I'm building a house on top of the house. Oh, give me this grab just off of the block here, too. Going to live for it. Owen and reeling in his seat. Okay. This is good up tilt. Sonic has a couple anterior options of his own as well. Sonic, of course. Good options out of shield, too. Spring, very good. You know, oh, forward yeah. out of shield. Still a good option, at least for the first hit. And of course, he's stuck in that animation for quite some time, but sure. finally able to get a stock gone, but on the side of pocket here. This match is starting to kind of unravel here at the seams here for Wrath. 
Yeah, just falling right into place here. This is exactly how Pocket wants this one to go. If Wrath is going to just play this game the way it is, Pocket will gladly play into that play style. Off shield here, too. We get something going here. Block placement. Not going to be able to find any further extension here, too. A special fall here for Sonic. Okay. Just trading places. Both players have really good burst options, you know. Obviously, you have homing attack, you have spin dash, but then you can just throw, run that powered minecart. Start swapping sides. Mm -hmm. Dancing around yet. Keep in mind, after Anvil lands on shield, you bet your bottom dollar there's going to be a hitbox active afterward. Up throw. What's up, bro? Minecart through, gets wow. the catch, forward smash. 92% taking ticks from that side, that magnifying glass. Just adding on a little bit more percent cross stage there, too. That will be a high percent three stock for pocket. Wow. Well, that was game number one, Scritch. Certainly was game number one, my friend. There was uh, some no Super No argument Smash. about it. Can't argue that. There was some Super Smash Brothers I got played right there. I tell you what. Just a bit. But going to this next game, dude, we got we to gotta come off swinging. If we can play that game plan with a lead, mm -hmm. whoa. Completely different, completely different outcome to that game. Oh, yeah. But we got to get something going early here, too. Wrath seems to be kind of chilling, not taking anything too much from that last game. Yeah, I mean, just kind of played it the way that they were supposed to, at least on Pocket's behalf. Wrath, I, I got to be honest, I, I, we got to see the camp come out. You know, you don't have the, the long-range gameplay that Steve has. You know, you have to play in and around a lot of what they're bringing to the table. And so because of this, you know, you have to get your hits, and then you got to jump the heck out of the way and force, at least in brief moments and times in the match, for them to come to you. Hey, at stage, we don't get to see hey, very shout often. shout out to the FD variations. I love all we'll, of this. We'll take it. What's your favorite FD variation? I'm a big fan of, like, Suzaku's Castle. I love running that or the uh, uh, Street Fighter stage. You know, I liked Palutena's Temple in okay. Smash yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 4. Is it still an ultimate? Like, Yeah, yeah, you can still run that. You yeah, can still run that. that. That's mine. They used to run that in Europe. That was their FD variation that's in right. 4. That's in right. In Smash 4. Yes, I love that. Oh, guy, I mean, we don't get to see it very often. I mean, not to sound like an old man, but, you know, ultimate's a very beautiful game. But, you know, when you play it competitively, you only get to see so much of it. But... It's always nice to change up the scenery here a little bit. Maybe this is the mental reset that, you know, Raph might need. My God, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, you need some help. Yeah, even on his home turf here, too, Pocket putting on a slugfest. So much damage, canceling that forward smash on block. Okay, we're getting something going here. Weak hit in there. Almost lining up that back here on that right side of the stage, but going to whiff the homing attack and going to die for it. Okay. A lot more fight in this Sonic, though, this second game. You're starting to see these hits come together a lot more consistently. Oh, Rising yeah. up for it. Going for a spring. Not going to find forward air. Good drift away from pocket. Uh -huh. And a lot of safe options right here from Wrath. I think mean, you know, I think you get a little button happy with other characters that you're fighting against in the game. But I think when it comes to Sonic and their strings, if they aren't airtight, if they're not true, I feel like Pocket's going to be able to anvil through some of that. Yeah. So good on Wrath to just know how when it's time to dial it back. I think that's the mark of a really strong Sonic. Nothing off the down or forward tilt, excuse me, but we'll take it. Got ourselves even stocks right now. Knowing when to dial it back and knowing when to turn it up right there, too. Wrath taking full advantage of that position on that left side of the stage. Wall in line here, too. This seems to be where Wrath draws. You know, I'm not moving forward at, towards anything on all of this. Mm -hmm. You can get all of this material you'd like and then keep it going. But once you want to start fighting me, then we can talk. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing all this Twitter finger stuff behind walls. No, there's a lot of finger fugitives, a lot of thumb thugs out there <laughs> in the community. He said, I ain't one of them. No. All right, that ain't me. It's on site. Okay. Well, Wrath is trying to keep it on site right now, but just cannot get over this wall, man. I mean, Pocket is just so good at just disengaging and getting their toolkit set up that when it's even time to start swinging, what are you supposed to do? Just cancel it through here, forces out the jump, just go straight through shield. And this is what I was talking about. If you can get a lead, no matter what that lead is, be it percent or stocks, we are happy to take that. And I'm all on board for this Wrath game plan that you were talking about earlier, right? Oh, yeah, bro. You got it. I, look, I – Hey, run it. Some ca some matchups, you got to camp, all right? And this is certainly one of them here. If the minute you get even a percent lead, I'm talking a 5% lead, you need to, you know, buy. Come Check, get me. Checking out. He said, I'm checking out of this room. Okay, Ooh. homing attack. Disengages. He knew he was going to card out of it. I was actually going to go for forward, but wait a minute. Another back here builds up the wall. Up B is too fast on Sonic. Frame four startup. When I tell you I'm springing out of there, I'm springing out of there. He gets caught on shield. Not going to go for homing attack after cross up right there with the spin dash. That is a good mix up, too, to catch any sort of shield drops. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Trying to line up a back here. Maybe just barely going to whiff, but the walls come down the middle of that stage. 
And Wrath taking advantage of all this speed here, too. Pocket really just can't get anything or choose what side Wrath might be approaching on. Okay. Dancing around the shield here. Pocket not, I mean, just very uninterested in trying to chase Wrath down, even despite the slight differential in percent. So, look, I got a game plan. I'm sticking to it. Uh -oh. Yeah, get them blocks out of here. Now the up airs are coming through. So he was a little, little preemptive in that first game on doing that, and for good reason, of course. Down there is such a, a difference maker in this matchup. Back throw. Hold on, Wrath. That dash turnaround there, too, to bait out the roll in from pocket, and that turnaround grab back throw for the kill. Very solid stuff. Game plan's coming together. Just had to scale it back a little bit. Got to get a little aggression going forward oh, yeah. from that game one plan, but this is paying off well. Okay. Nice. This is looking good. Oh. Okay, it's looking good right now. Yeah, he said, look, you know, I, I hate to talk about the memes. You know the vibes, though, yeah. bro. You know it, bro. The oh, vibes the are stop. immaculate. What you, th what, what you thought was going to happen? The vibes are Illmatic, Stillmatic right now, man. You already know. Yeah, forced the approach, the back air. Ain't much changing. Going to keep threatening these approaches with spin dash. Going to keep threatening all this stuff. Down air, cancel out of it. Talking about it earlier, had to have those on point. Yep. Up air, spring right up, no. Okay. He's looking good here. Still has a pretty strong lead, but as I said, that I may have commentary cursed him. It happens sometimes. He's able to drop the stock, but we'll see for how much longer they can hold on to it. Once the toolkit gets set up right here for pocket, they'll be a little bit more uh, encouraged to actually start slugging it out versus Sonic. Mm -hmm. so this might be exactly where we need to get inside here. The diamond's online now. That is not really on the table, but you will still have to get this percent going. Yep. 145 timeout. I mean, probably not going to happen at this point, especially with the percent owning is at if Wrath wants to close this one out safely. But you never know. Oh, spring right up oh, forward air. There it is. I was talking about how important that would be maybe a little bit closer to the blast, but we'll take whatever percent we can certainly get here versus pocket. Another forward air. Okay, on pocket not quite with a quick enough move to, you know, stop forward air once the ride starts. Back, Back air, air, caught the jump over wall. Wrath, okay. Love to see it. 1-1 one, one in this set here. Winner of this going on to that top eight winner side. And Wrath was really honing in that game plan. It looked a little raw in that first game here too. Kind of had to take the adjustments, had to play the – because when you do that, the early game is so, so much more important than any other point in that game. Oh, yeah. Wrath taking a sip of that water. I think any match versus a top-level Steve – you know, it's certainly a, a game of not only physical resiliency, because you're going to be playing the match for a long time, but also a mental one, too. And we've seen that with the uh, the Lucky and Syrup match, and we're seeing it just as importantly here with Pocket and Wrath. I guess really the same could be said for a Sonic at this level, too. You know, Real. you know, you've got to strap your seatbelt on tight, because you know you're going to be here for a while. And also, like, the, the, the composure. Wrath sitting oh in the chair the exact same way from that game one to that game two. This is the game plan we want to go forward with. There is no if ands, or buts on what we are choosing the options for here. It's all going according to plan. That's right. And also, big shout out to Raph, too, man. My boy Raph really put that on today. Love that sweater. Mm. My man said, look, if I'm playing day three, I'm playing in style. It's championship Sunday. I ain't out here looking like fiction. Sheesh. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, 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 now. Hey, 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 now. <laughs> Throwback. Throwback. I'll tell you what, though. Fiction getting it done. He said, look, man, you can keep your eSports jerseys. I'm going to get it done in the Haynes three-pack, like you said earlier. Yeah, in Haynes three-pack, you can catch a three-piece. That's right. Fiction getting it. Are they, are they even here this weekend? Fiction here? So. Oh, so. man. What's going on with that, man? I like watching Fiction play. But, hey, no doubt about it right here. The narrative at hand is that we got uh, two of the strongest players, character representatives, too, right now, here on stream in front of us. Wrath, I feel like people, like I mentioned before, sometimes forget about how strong they are. But hopefully... Depending on how they play here this weekend, they can put their name back on the map a little bit more. Yeah, I'll into that upper echelon of Sonics we were talking about just a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Sorry, getting into that conversation. Really taking a lot of priority in the, the crafting table here. Wants to get it knocked away. Just force out another couple of seconds out of pocket. Mm -hmm. Get that one back online. Any moment you can get when you're playing the Sonic game plan is valuable time indeed. Okay, okay getting rid of that. Oh, yeah, getting rid of the crafting table. He said, clean up your mess. Okay, down tilt looking good. Even just a jab, too. Sonic, a pretty quick jab. I mean, they can maybe get in and put on a little bit of percent. But, of course, that is with the implication that you can get, you know, either under or above or through these walls. That right there is just a difficult and very daunting task. Okay. That craft table is gone again. 
Straight through. Yeah, having to build full iron here, too. These, ma these materials are flying off the board. Once you get through all that basic stuff, all that wood, all that stone you spawned with in the first stock, you start having to cut through all the useful materials. Mm. Minecart, though, coming out in fruition. Oh, walking up slowly there. Didn't get anything for it. Pocket just kind of running into harm's way. Yep. Okay. 2% differential between these two. Starting to extend a, a bit more, but again, we got to camp. I, and for both sides, really. All right, keep it real. I mean, just, I mean, think the nature of Enderman just backing off and getting their tables set up. I mean, that in itself is camping, camping and crafting. Um, Ooh, but, tech on that. Yeah, great tech, but Rapoff has to do the same. And wow, KO on the opposite side there. Always got to watch your DI when the walls are up. You might think you're flying one way, but you're definitely flying the other. Right. And whoever's dealing out that hit can really take a lot of advantage off of that rebound. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just nair off the top. No, close, though. Reset here, using these blocks to get down. Oh, again, off the block. Great tech. Always ready for it. Chilling, though. Just get this wall out, force out more materials. Okay, what's it going to be here? There's down tilt. Ooh, broke into the house. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm home. I'm taking all the stuff. Yeah, and forced into a corner here. Pocket has to jump out of this wall, and eventually that's where Wrath, Wrath will strike, as you see here. Oh, what a catch on back air. Caught the jump out of cart perfectly. Mm -hmm. Such a clean execution right there. Okay, cart can't quite mix up on the recovery back. You know, we usually see cart used on, like, characters with more linear recoveries as well, just to you know, try to fake them out or, you know, put something where they know they're going to land. But Sonic, of course, is blessed with some really great aerial options. Yep. Kind of hard to pinpoint where the blue blur is going. Ooh, off the wall there. Not going to find anything for it. Up once again. Crashing table out. Seems to be a huge point of emphasis for Wrath whenever we have it on the other side of this wall. Back here, though, stuffing any approaches on whiff here, though. Wrath going to catch this air dodge. This is big. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, a lot of percent put on. What was, what was, I almost said on, and what was Pocket doing? Excuse me. Charging up that F smash, maybe looking to fake him out. I think if they fall off the block after F smash, it turns into forward air instead. Ooh, caught in the cart, looking for the option. Run off forward air, we'll do it. Just really waiting on the mash out of that cart. We will find a stock, nevertheless. That's right. Okay, nice, very good, very good. Less is most certainly more in some of these exchanges. And I think that's the mark right there of a, of a great Sonic versus maybe some of the good ones is how they kind of get those Sonic rides either up to the top or off to the side with forward air and how they can mix up on the fly too with that final hit is usually going to be. I know we've seen a little bit of forward air in the last game up at the top, but that time electing to go for Nair, very good. Okay, falling up there, that very smart just in case they go for Anvil. I'm up underneath this platform. Pocket right there getting a little schmixed. That's okay though. Okay, backing up. Hey. I'm, at, I'm at my table. I got diamond. I got gold. Okay, I'm shining right now. Happy to play this game, though. Wrath starting to play keep away. Pocket will eventually start to reach. When you reach, I teach. Okay. Doesn't matter how many diamonds you have. This is your last stock. I mean, sure, you can repair these materials and repair these tools. That's right, but that's it. And, of course, cart once more. They stuffing them out in place, but what good is that? You know, when you're on the other side of your wall. Now we're going to, I'd imagine, maybe slug it out a bit more here. Looks like Pockets now wants to get a little bit more handsy, which is good. You know, Sonic can most certainly play that game, but you got gold, which means I believe certain moves are about two or three frames faster mm -hmm. and it's certainly much stronger. Start going to move a little bit quicker here. Not much percent being added here until I say that. Finally finding something off of the shield. Oh, yeah, trying to get this chase down too fast, though. Even this character's in special fall breaks through the minecart. Okay. It's looking good right now. Oh, my God, a couple forwarders, a couple back airs. Just can't quite find the mark. But it's going to be a very definitive game. I feel like whoever wins this one might win the entirety of the set. Mm -hmm. If we can get there, coming up on the final minute of this match. Big swing game for sure. Forces out the jump, just drifting away, a, away from it though. Mm -hmm. Wrath not falling into any of these tricks. No, absolutely not. Just, oh, okay, delay on the F smash. Looks like they tilted it down there. Didn't know that move lasted that long. Guess maybe it throws me off with the wind up animation. Mm -hmm. But yeah, still up in this joint. Oh, we got a big oh, pickup yeah. off of up tilt back air. Not gonna do it. Nope, we chilling. 
Okay, timeout's most certainly going to be a thing here pretty soon. Uh-oh. This gap is starting to widen a little bit. Oh, the cross oh. up there, forward smash on the oh. hit. The up smash whiffing from Ratho Pocket, stealing that game three. And if what you said is true, Rod, that could be the big momentum shift that Onan needs. I mean, this game plan from Rath's really coming together, really testing the longevity and the fortitude of the Pocket yeah. in this set. 100%, man. It's, uh, I mean, both of these two players to play at this level, especially for as long as they've been doing it, especially on Rath's behalf. You know, you got to know that there's going to be some matches where you can certainly bully your way through. That's kind of the nature of Sonic, but there's also some matches where you got to lame them out, and this is definitely one of those matches on both sides. And I think both sides are doing a really good job at handling each other that way. Let's see how it goes. Back on the stage counter pick here, though. Got to love the home field advantage here for Wrath. Seemed to have worked out last time. That's right. Big wall in place here, too. Other side of the crafting table. Right now, Wrath really struggling to get up over the wall. And again, I feel like when the walls are up, especially when I have my toolkit in place, I start smash attacking. You fart flying off the walls. You got to really watch yourself in your DI. You know, you could get hit against the wall that way, but you fly the opposite direction and things can get really bad for you. Cancels here, too. Such a tight area to work in. Oh, my gosh. Wrath getting stuck in the blocks there, too. That was weird. All right. Another homing attack. Some safe damage put on board. Down throw. Bam. Forward air. Simple stuff. Middle of the stage here. Shield online. Yeah, finally going to get hit with the homing attack. Yeah, and just baiting over this wall, forcing, trying to force out Pocket to do something on these fade, fade in and fade out moves. Yep, yep, yep. Getting dug up here. Using shovel on this stage actually kind of important. Don't have to waste any durability on that pickaxe. Oh, my. Picking up a lot of dirt on this one, too. Yeah, not quite what, he, what they're looking for here, unfortunately. And Pocket right now really climbing uphill here, I feel like, versus Wrath. But this is one of those matches where I think both players are just mentally evenly matched, you know, despite whatever the characters might say on paper. And, oh, there's a back here. Not quite enough. Going to mix up the recovery. Back here to push the trajectory a little bit forward here. Up smash. No, going to go for F smash there that time. I knew it was going to be one of the two options. When you get up underneath Sonic like that on their way down, you're going to see one of those two things sort of come out. But maybe thought up smash may have been a little too telegraphed. Pivot F smash was the better of the options. Right over here, too. Down air canceling out of these spin charges. Wall in line, pocket just being pressed in the corner once again. Just get really starts to, this game really opens up once you figure out trying to see where Wrath can catch pocket going over. Okay. 123% here. Big catch. And climbing up, yes, a big catch indeed. I feel like that's where Wrath really starts to excel a little bit more is that when the blocks are gone. Oh my God, now that could have been dangerous because Syrup and pocket have both been going for Anvil into immediate forward air or back air. Yeah. Very risky right there on Raph to try to trade with back air of their own. Ooh. Could have been a KO back air, of course. No slots of a move in Sonic's toolkit, but uh, diamond back air on Enderman. I don't want no parts of that. Nothing at all. Also, really, no parts in this iron here, too. Just one piece online for Pocket. Going to use it in this minecart. Going to have to start mining soon, so hopefully Raph can give some space. That's what Pocket must be thinking. No, immediately pressing forward. Minecart for the middle of the stage, though. Pocket finds first stock here, and that has proven to be such a big opener. Mm -hmm. But 124 on the side of Pocket, not going to be too far behind as we see back air taken on that left side. Immediately off spawn, though. Yeah. Big hit. 100%, man. I, I really love how Wrath was able to adjust some of their aerials when it comes to ledge trapping, physically at least. Um, you know, because, you know, there is still the spring, which in itself is a projectile, but I don't think it has that same sort of effect on the, the Minecraft characters. But I think when it comes to, like, switching between forwarder and backer, that's right there is what's really been. Oh, my God. Love that air dodge. Able to land on the blocks right there just to get out of harm's way. Exactly what you want to see. Backer, I feel like it's just slow enough of a move right there to throw off Pocket's timing. I think Pocket has been so good at, at you know, avoiding maybe a, a potential forwarder with how quick that move is. But throwing off their timing ever so slightly, I feel like with Wrath, it's just been helping them excel forward with back air. Mm -hmm. Really respecting that option, standing in shield tall. Well, the spin dash comes up and over. Really delayed drop there on the anvil. Smart stuff. Pocket realizing Wrath wants to go to that corner immediately. Got to get this mining online, though, too. Finally going to get over half a bar of materials in line. And Onan starting, and I should say, I'm getting nervous here, too. Pocket starting to maneuver in that seat, up okay. and moving. And you still see Wrath as stoic as ever. Oh, yeah. Just an emotionless killer right here. 
Uh oh, yeah, caught you jumping. One of the few times he wanted to jump over that ledge. Wrath, of course, not too particularly fond of that. That's okay, though. 112%. You can still make some magic happen. Wrath has found a lot of success in this corner. Of course, not quite getting the, the sonic rides that, you know, most of the top level sonics are known to get with forward air and things as such. This clean back airs have get, been getting it done. A big wall in, in front here, too. Got to go through the lowest level if you want to do anything. Really stuck under a huge ceiling here is Wrath in the pocket. Not going to take advantage of it. Just going to keep trying to, you know, keep this blue blur away. Uh huh. Definitely a game of cat and mouse right now. Pocket certainly understanding the advantage that they have here in this match. Back here, no, actually, no, not that time. I thought that that actually would have been a good time for a backer. We're going to get back throw for sure. Red stuff, but no KO. Minecart comes in, back oh. air immediately out of the pop out. And this is tough. Diamond back air once again. Pocket looking to close this one out, just whiffing on it. Great drift in from Wrath. Oh, back air up and over. Oh, this ain't undoable. This is not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, you bet. You got to watch yourself, though. You get up tilted. It's a bit faster now. Mm -hmm. Okay, falling up air. Ooh. Falling in place. That's going to be enough to do it. Pocket's going to go up 3 1 in that set and move on. Raph, of course, going to drop down to the loser side of bracket, reinforcing the idea that there are some absolute killers down there just kicking it. Yeah. Waiting to get back on this stage. Really, really strong showing for the game plan of Wrath there, too. I mean, shoot, I don't really, if I'm Wrath, I don't really care if you like it. If it's working out for me, I'm going to keep running it. Yeah, man. You got to do what you got to do.